Hey team, my name's Cole, and I'm a Kiwi from the South Island of New Zealand. I enjoy taking tired furniture, giving it a little love, so it can enjoy a few more trips around the sun. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, you know the drill. Let's jump straight into it. I hadn't actually intended on doing this flip because as I edit this, I'm actually on a flight with my wife and son as we relocate permanently to the UK. So I had sold most of my tools at this point, but a few days before this flight, I did see this set of drawers on the side of the road and I just could not leave them there. So with the few tools I had left and borrowing a couple of bits and pieces, I did manage to do something with this piece. It's absolutely not my best work, but I think it looks a little bit better than the way it started. There is plenty of blue and white paint to be scraped off this thing, but fortunately the sun is out and I'm going to enjoy it because I figure I'm not going to see much of it for the next six months as we head into a very dark winter in the UK. Some of you might be wondering why we're moving. Soph and I are both from different countries. I'm from New Zealand, she is from the UK. We had a son. Since having him we've realised it's really important that both of our families get to spend time with him. So we've spent the last year or so in New Zealand and we're going to go and spend a few years in the UK. One of the things that I am really excited about is the different kinds of furniture I'm going to be able to get my hands on over there. I think there's a lot more sort of antique, unique bits that you wouldn't see in New Zealand. So I am really excited for those challenges and those finds. And yes, of course, I will still be doing my YouTube. Uh, I'll probably be focusing on it more, so you will see a bit more from me. Unfortunately the scraping wasn't going to work on these feet so I did have to get some paint stripper onto it. I managed to get my hands on a finishing sander which did a pretty good job on the drawer fronts and the top but as far as the casing went which had so much white paint so deep in every little crevice you could imagine I decided I was going to paint the housing but leave the top and the drawer fronts natural timber that is not my ideal scenario but you got to work with what you got now if you're disappointed about the paint you need to get it off your chest go for gold I can take it I am very aware that painting timber furniture can really grind some people's gears, but please let me remind you, this piece was on its way to the dump.
I start with 60 grit and move my way through to 400 grit and that gives me a pretty nice finish. There is still a little bit of paint left on this top here so I'm just going to pick out what I can and then go over it again with a bit more sandpaper. There were a couple of nasty gouges in the top piece which I presume was from a mirror or something that was mounted on the back. So I'm just going to use this tape to create a little bit of a mould before filling it with wood filler. I forgot to hit record when I filled it in, but as you can see it's worked pretty well once it's dried out, then I just smooth it out with the sander. I had this paint left over from another project so I thought great opportunity to use it up. It is fusion mineral paint, really great coverage and a nice matte finish. They say you can get away with one coat but I do two coats with a light sand in between and it doesn't need a top coat. For those of you based in New Zealand wanting to get your hands on some of this paint I will leave you a link in the description to a fantastic supplier. Hey buddy, get your ball. I found this adhesive wood look vinyl in the local hardware store. Now you don't need a degree to put this stuff on, but if you're not super patient, this product's probably not for you. I have no idea if this is the correct technique, but this is what worked for me. And to protect my work of art, I just use a little bit of sealer spray. This video was very short and sweet, but I do hope you've enjoyed this one nonetheless. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Please do me a solid and hit like. Leave me a comment or even subscribe to my channel if you fancy hearing a bit more from me. I look forward to cutting out a new workshop, getting my hands on some interesting pieces and creating a lot more content once I land in the UK. So I do hope you tune in again soon. After polishing the timber and adding some new hardware, I think it's time to see how the smurfy looking chest of drawers turned out. Until next time, take it easy.